So I've heard some rumors going around that the Bile Titan's health got stealth buffed and certain things like the Rail Cannon Strike and the Rail Gun aren't one-shotting him anymore. So I wanted to make a video talking about the mechanics behind this enemy. This video will show you guys some good weapons and stratagems for dealing with the Bile Titan, but more so we are diving into the mechanics because everyone knows they are gonna add more weapons to this game. So I want this video to last a little bit longer so that you guys can take these tips and tricks and use them to take down multiple bile titans a lot easier in your games. So before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe for more Helldivers 2 mechanic deep dives. Join my Discord and follow my Twitch for when I do viewer games and let's get straight into it. Now the main thing with the Bile Titan is that I really don't know if it did get stealth changed or not. I will say that I used to be able to one-shot it with the Rail Cannon Strike when I first unlocked it, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore unless you shoot its belly first. And that's the main mechanic we're gonna be showcasing in this video is that Bile Titans have multiple weak points. There's the obvious one inside its mouth, which you can still one-shot with a railgun, by the way, but also the two squishy sacks underneath it. Now the Bio Titan specifically has two sacks underneath that you wanna go under it and shoot. You can also do this from a distance. Now there's one under its sort of butt area and there's one closer to its throat. And you wanna shoot these out before you do anything else because this will tremendously weaken it. Now there's two things that this does to the Bio Titan. The first thing is I think that this is actually about 50% of its HP. Now that's just a guess because you'll notice the first clip I've been playing was using an orbital laser without shooting the sack just to show the damage before we shoot the sacks. And the second clip I'm gonna play at some point is the orbital laser after I shoot the sacks. And you'll notice it not only kills the Bile Titan, but it has a lot of uptime after all I did was shoot these sacks a couple times with the Scorcher. Now the current best gun to take these out is the Scorcher in my opinion, because uh, if you didn't know, but explosive damage is stronger against bugs compared to normal damage. And also note that it's more so area of effect damage, like the Dominator and the Explosive Liberator technically say they're explosive damage, but they don't actually have an area of effect from what I can tell. And just to give an example of what I'm talking about, impact grenades work, work really well for this. If you land one impact grenade in between both sacks, you could take them both out with one grenade, but a lot of times you end up throwing two. The auto cannon is going to be great because that makes giant explosions. Any sort of rocket will take this out. Uh, also, the breaker is going to work just because it has high damage, but explosive type weapons are the best because, like I said, they deal extra damage against bugs. Now, I've even noticed an eagle airstrike that I threw to clear out all the mobs can also take out both the sacks, even though it's striking from above, and that's probably just because they are explosive damage. It's an area that it's actually dealing damage to. Now, the next major reason for taking out these sacks is that the Bile Titan will stop spitting if you take out the squishy pods, and I guess this can Confirms that's where it holds its venom. It literally turns these titans from terrifying into just giant walking bugs that you can avoid 10 times easier. It can even sometimes step on chargers or random bugs for you at that point. You don't even have to kill them if you shoot these sacks. However, once you clear out all the mobs, then you could probably just take him down just so he's not annoying you anymore. Also, one other cool little tip is the safest spot from a lone titan is underneath of it, which makes it also easier to take out these sacks. If you are directly under Underneath the Titan, he's less likely to be able to step on you because he actually steps kind of around himself and he's also not going to spit his venom at you. And just keep in mind that standing underneath of him, like camping there at least, is a bit flawed if there's a lot of other bugs around as they will start to swarm you and you obviously don't want to stand still with bugs swarming you. Now the other obvious weak point like we mentioned is in its mouth, especially while it's in the spitting animation. And if you get used to this, you'll find that you will also be stunning it when you hit him with a railgun in the mouth. Even even if you don't get the one shot off. And this one shot is still possible. I think it's just a little bit hard to hit. It's more so on the side of its mouth. And I learned this from watching Crazy Mr. Pips, another Helldiver YouTuber was streaming. And this guy knows exactly where this crit spot is because he one shot four Bile Titans in a row. That's the perfect spot. This is how you one shot him. Careful, be careful Pips. That's how you one shot him, dude. Every single time you can do that. That is crazy. Let's get the third one too with the one shot chat. Reinforcing. 
No, that's a miss. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta do it again on the fourth guy. It's gotta be some kind of record. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Every single time, man. That is such a beauty. Love it. Now, a link to his YouTube video showcasing this will be in the pinned comment. Definitely go check it out as he makes really good tips and tricks and videos for this game. Now, personally, with the railgun, I found that shooting them dead center in the forehead was the best way to do it. Uh, I'm going to play a clip where I shot him twice in the forehead and he bled out. And then I'll play another clip after that where I think I shot him three times in the forehead or maybe two times in the forehead, one time in the side of the head. And then I shot out the sax and he died. Now on to my two theories on why Titan damage seems so inconsistent lately. The first one is that the weak spot in the mouth is just very, very small and very hard to hit. And my second theory is that there may be multiple types of bile titans. Now I do a lot of testing on the kill a titan mission, which is only available at difficulties four and five. However, I would like to point out if we bump it down to difficulty three and go to the kill a charger mission, we can see that there is a different type of charger that always spawns at these missions. I believe this is called a Berserk Charger, and this one has visibly bigger armor. And I can't say whether or not his HP is bigger since he still does die to two railgun shots and shooting the leg, but for the Bile Titan, which has a much bigger health pool, a Berserk Bile Titan, for example, I don't know if that's what it's called, I don't even know if there's a second version of this, but if there is, and it only had 10% more HP, maybe that's what's causing people to not be able to one-shot it. And the weak point on the side of its mouth definitely is small, it's very easy to miss, and maybe once people like, you know, sometimes you hit the shot and one shot it, and then other times you're slightly off, and then you end up shooting 10 railgun shots into it. Because maybe all it takes is two well placed shots in the crit spot if there is a different type of Bile Titan. But since you didn't one shot it, it kind of distracts you, and you kind of end up shooting nine, nine more shots just into the head instead of actually aiming for that weak spot again. But that's just a theory, a Hell Divers theory, and maybe they did just stealth nerf it or stealth buff the HP pool. I really don't know. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into some of the Bile Titans mechanics, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Anytime I find cool mechanics like this, I'll always make videos about it. And Helldivers has a lot more unexplored mechanics that they've baked into the game. Enemy weak spots aren't always simply the heads. Like you can kill a lot of bugs just by shooting two or three legs off, for example. And you can disable bots by shooting their joints. So be sure to experiment with some of that spot and shooting them in different spots and see what you can come up with. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.